You may someday be working on an estimate and wondering how you are going to sketch a flat-topped mansard roof like this one in Xactimate 28. In the following video, we will show you one method for accomplishing that task. Let's get started. This is one that I was actually on top of, uh, and it took me a while to figure out how to draw this. The one we'll be drawing today is a little bit simpler. So you see you have your, uh, your flat-topped part up here, and then a very steep pitch, which is about... Um, probably about an 18 or 19 pitch. So we're going to start with our main level and then go to the roof level here. You can still see the underlayment there. So basically what we're going to be doing is dropping a flat topped roof up here and then putting um, other flat or shed roofs around the sides as a skirt. Grab a flat shed roof. I'm just going to drop it right on the edge there. Okay, now we're going to edit it and make sure that the eave heights are the same on both sides. First, we'll also get rid of the overhang. Okay, so upper zero, lower zero. That means it will have a slope now of zero. Okay, so if we check in here, you can tell it has a slope of zero. Great, now let's zoom in a little bit and drag this out so it's actually on the corners. Okay flush on the left, flush on the right, flush on the bottom. Now let's break it and drag it out over this entranceway. Okay, now we have our flat topped roof sitting up here. How do we drop on the skirts? Just put a flat roof on each edge and we'll drag the vertices out so that, it, uh, so that it actually has the right shape. We call this the Richardson method after the gentleman who, uh, who showed me this. All right, put another flat shed roof here. We're going to change the orientation. So just click the, the little orientation button here, and we'll hover the mouse over the right side of this roof until you see the red arrow there, and click. Um, that way now we know that the orientation is going up this way. You can see that, uh, that it's, it's sloped up to the left there. We're going to need to change the slope, of course. Uh, first, let's, let's do a couple of quick edits in the Properties tab. So first, um, let's just go ahead and set the slope here. So we need our slope to be, let's say it's about 18. Okay. So now that that's 18, we're also going to eliminate the overhang here. Okay, now let's check and see how that looks. Good, great. Um, a little bit, uh, a little bit large. So what we're going to do now is shorten it. So first thing to do, shorten it until it's about uh, four foot. Eight. Yeah, there we go. Four foot eight. Okay. Now it's looking like it could actually be the side of this roof. Now, how do we get these to be the right level? Let's first click on our sloped roof. Upper. Okay. So the upper eave height is three foot ten and five eighths. So what we can do is select this roof here and select eave heights. 3 foot 10 and 3 foot 10. Okay, now this entire roof is going to be at 3 foot 10, so it should be right at the top of the ridge or the, the upper eave of roof 2. Let's check that out. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, a couple more steps. Let's butt roof 2 right up to roof one, drag it out to the edge, and now here is the funky thing. In order to get this um, to be more trapezoidal so that it actually, uh, so it actually covers these edges when we drop the other roofs on here, it covers the corners, we're going to have to select this vertex, this vertex and drag it out to a 45 degree angle. So what we're going to do is just simply left click and hold, 
and drag out to about 45 degrees. Okay, uh, same thing on the other side. Now let's see what that looks like. Okay, so far so good. Let's take this roof, copy it, paste, and drop down here. I'm going to select it, rotate it uh, right up here, rotate by 90 degrees. Okay, fortunately the orientation rotated with it, so we don't have to mess with that. All right, and then we'll just drop it right in there. Now I'm going to speed up the, the rest of this because we're basically just going to go around dropping the same piece of roof all around the edges. Okay, so there we have it, our flat-topped mansard roof. Let's see what this looks like in 3D. If you want, you can also extend the roof wall so that you don't see this gap between the, uh, the walls and the roof. But otherwise, you are finished and set to go. Hope you enjoyed.